Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name's Elian and the channel's called Silver Moonlight. Um, I do videos on um, most things, it's anything to do with the home um, and the garden. I do videos on DIYs, crafts, um, anything to do with the house and home. I do uh, clothing, try-ons, uh, bits of beauty, bits of cooking here and there. You know, um, just it's it's like a channel that does um, like quite a lot of things. It's quite like a diverse, I would say. Yeah, I just do a little bit of everything here. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to watch, um, I would love to have you steer. Um, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and um, if you press the notification bell, you'll be reminded when I next upload a video. Um, I do upload videos currently twice a week. I was uploading three times a week, but in these school holidays, I'm going to be uploading twice a week. But then I see that and I probably will end up uploading three times a week, but I can't commit to three times a week at the at the moment, you know. So today, guys, it's a Poundland haul and then a bit of it's Pepin Core, you know, they're like clothing brand in there, Poundland. So um I was quite like interested in looking at that. So um to be fair they didn't have like a, a huge selection in our in the Poundland where I went, but I did manage to pick up a couple of items which I'm gonna show for you. Uh which I'm gonna show you, sorry. Um and I will try them on as well for you so you can see what they look like on. Um so I'm going to start with the non-clothing items first and um, I'll just jump right in guys. I hope you're all doing well. You know, I know our sun seems to have disappeared at the minute, but I'm sure it's going to come back because it's still quite warm, isn't it? So um, I'm hopeful that it'll come back. David's out there now. He's busy doing the decking. It's, um, I'd like to see how it's getting there, but it's not. It's really not. I, I need to... Um, I need to supervise out there. <laughs> anyway, getting into the haul. So I picked up this um, chalky furniture paint. It's just like the aerosol paint. And um, I'm thinking about doing um, like a, a little uh, DIY with this. So um, it will be on the channel when I do do it. So it's fast drying, non-cracking. It's exactly the, um, the chalky like kind of paint that I want. I've never have ever used this no idea what it's going to turn out like but we'll find out together won't we uh, this is in the colour natural hessian and it, it really does look like a really nice colour you know quite neutral so um this is there's 400 ml in here and it's only £2.50 so much cheaper than places like B&Q because I bought an uh, orange one from there and I think it was about £7.50 you know for a tin and even um B and M, I bought an orange one from there, and I think that was even like four ninety nine. So two pound fifty is a really good price for the spray paint. So if you're after some spray paint, check out Poundland. Um, so moving on, oh Craigie, do you know what? It's wooden, so um, I'm gonna have to use something to pick it up with because I just don't like the touch of rough wood. Um, so it's this, this like little chopping board. Well, I'm saying chopper board. You couldn't really chop much on there, could you? It's tiny. There's my hand for comparison. You know, it is little. You could use it as a serving board, you know, if you were going to serve like a starter or something like that. Um, you know, just to put put uh, your starter on or whatever. But that's not where I'm going to use it for. It's going to be part of home decor for autumn. You know, and I thought that would be nice just like as a little autumn deck or piece I will probably do something with it you know and um, but again I'll probably do it on the channel so this was only £1.50 so but if you did want to use it as a little chopping board you know you, you totally could it would be like really nice for up at the bar you know chopping like just a, a lime up or something lemons and limes because it's not going to take up much room you know but um, I already have a chopping board for up there but yeah, one pound fifty followers. I'm sure they were just a pound, you know, and they've put them up in price. But everything's gone up in um, pound land. I've noticed it's very, very rare that you actually can buy something for a pound in there. I do think they're going to have to change their name. Okay, moving on. Um, a little bit of beauty. Um, so I picked up these makeup remover cloths. Now they looked a bit like microfiber cloths to me. 
you know, like looking at them and I thought, oh, I, I wouldn't fancy using a microfiber cloth. But you know what? I, I had a like, a, I just put my finger in like that. I had a little bit of a fade of them. They are really super soft. And I thought, yeah, I'll definitely use them on my face. You know, they're absolutely... I don't think I felt anything softer, actually. They are just absolutely super, super soft. They're, they're really, really nice. I do like them, you know. Um, can't wait to use them, actually. You get three in here. And you get this pink one, you know, a lilac one. And this kind of, um, what would you say that is? Like an aqua, aqua colour. And they were pound fifty. I did think they were a pound. Um, because I'm sure it, it did have on the, the um, shelf edge labelling, you know. That... They were a pound for a three pack. So when I got the checkout, I didn't realise, but looking at my receipt after, they charged one pound fifty for them. So I'm not really sure whether they were supposed to be a pound and I've just been charged one fifty or whether they just had the wrong price on them. But they're either a pound or one pound fifty. But um yeah, I really like them. They're, they're really super soft and it's great for um, you know, when I use my hook cloth cleanser. And I'm taking that off. I will probably use these because I'm not overly keen on the muslin cloth that comes with them. I mean, it's all right, but I prefer something, you know, a bit softer like that. So I'm moving on. I picked up a um, foot pack. So it's the tea tree and peppermint, which I thought would be really, really like, I don't know, a sort of refreshing, wouldn't it? Um, it says it's deep moisturising. And I mean, these are only a pound, guys. You know, much, they're just so cheap. Um, and I do believe it's got the bag, you know, the, the little foot um, foot bags where you just put your feet in. So I'll just check that. Uh, yeah, unfold the boots. Yeah, so you leave them on for 15 to 20 minutes and then you massage, you know, after you've took them off. You massage the rest of the lotion, like, into your feet. And yeah, I do like to do a foot pack as well as them. Um, I use the Aldi, the Lacura, um, the cream, which is the Loxy, is it Loxy Tan Jupe? I do believe it's the Loxy Tan Jupe. And I love that cream. I really, I really do love that. But, you know, I do like using the foot mask as well uh, when, I, when I have the time. <laughs> I do try to use one once a week, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that you know and sometimes it can be once a fortnight um but i do like to do things like once a month and uh, once a month <laughs> once a week if i can uh okay so the next one i got was a hand pack now i don't usually use these this is the first time i've ever picked up a hand pack because what i do like to do is um and it's quite, quite tricky to do it on yourself, actually. But I love paraffin wax. Absolutely adore it. Um, and I do like doing, like, paraffin wax. Um, hand manic You know, when I've done a manicure, I do like to do, like, the paraffin wax. Um, but, you know, it is a bit of a pain getting the paraffin wax, like, heat around and heating it up and to be honest I don't think I've got any paraffin wax left and it isn't cheap the paraffin wax so I thought I'd give this a go and it's the Shea Butter Hand Pack it's saying it's deep moisturising and it's enriched with Shea Butter, Vitamin E which is I love Vitamin E and Moroccan Argan, Arg, <laughs> Moroccan Argan Oil um, so I'm going to give that a go you know you, you leave it on for 20 minutes so you know, after, probably after a bath, I'll, I'll be sitting there, you know, <laughs> I'll not be able to do anything because I'll have the foot, the foot um, booties on, the foot things, and then I'll have the hand things. <laughs> and if Dee ever comes in and starts tickling us, I'll be absolutely doomed. <laughs> and he would do something like that, you know, like coming in and start tickling us when I'm defenceless. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> I picked up this for the end. Um, to clean in the dog bowls as you know i've got six of them so um yeah i just i just like the look of it <laughs> i really did and there's no getting confused as to which is the dog sponge now i do keep the dog sponge underneath in the cupboard um but you know what i don't i don't trust him i david not 
like to, to not use ours on the dog so he can't get mistaken at all. So I picked up this and these like slide off. I have no idea how. Um, let me try and find out. They come off somehow. It's a bit technical actually. I'm sure I work at it. <laughs> Guys. It probably tells you on here you know how to do it. Well it's moved. Oh there. <laughs> you just click it and it just slides off. And there and then you put your other one on. So this was just a pound. And then I picked up a couple of refills as well. So you get two refills for a pound. And it's got like the, the beer on the back. So this, you know, comes with the replacement. So yeah, a pound for that and a pound for those. For the dog balls. Um, oh, I picked up this. You've got to be thinking, Elaine, have you lost the plot? <laughs> Probably. So guys, I picked up this gargoyle. Now I love gargoyles. <laughs> and you know what? I bought them for Halloween. It's, it's a prop for Halloween. You know, because I do like... I've, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, like I do Halloween on like a big scale, all the kids in the neighbourhood come round, you know. But um, yeah, I do like grave uh, tombstones, like I do the garden as like a graveyard. So him sitting on top of a, a tombstone is going to look amazing. So I picked him up for that purpose. He was only £3. Um, I do have one underneath the gazebo, actually. I'll show you him next time. You know, when we've done all of this decking, you know, when he's done all this decking and we've done the bar, I will definitely do like a garden update to her and, uh, and show you, you know, the changes and everything. Because I do intend to do a couple of little changes under the gazebo as well. So hopefully we'll get that done before Christmas, you know, before the end of summer. But £3 for the gargoyle. Um, moving on, so this is the um, clothing items, guys. So I was intrigued to try the Pep and Core. Um, I had seen the clothing in Poundland and um, I hadn't really properly looked at it. It did look like quite nice designed, but I hadn't checked on the material and things like that and quality and, you know. And But, you know what, these two things caught my eye. So I thought, I'll give them a go. And it's this dress here. So it's um it's got like three quarter length sleeves. They're quite a puff sleeve, so they're gonna be they're quite roomy, you know, if your arms a bit wider here, yeah? they're quite a bit roomy, um lovely elasticated as well, so it's very, very comfortable to wear. The front bodice, it's like high waisted, I would say it's probably like empire line almost. Um the back has got the um you know the smocking on the back so um like you know more comfortable to wear it, it fits nicer it feels a lot more comfy i picked this up guys in a size xl which was an 18 um i would say the material it's it is quite comfy um it's like a crepe i hope the camera will pick it up i mean it's a beautiful color in this khaki color but it's like a crepe crinkle material and it's not bad at all actually um it drops down i hope you can see that quite a long skirt and then it goes into you know this frill at the bottom which is quite a deep frill you know it's a very similar to dresses that i have Um, i've got a black one which i picked up from tesco which is um very very similar to this one i think the sleeves are slightly shorter on the black one but overall you know i think it's decent enough quality um for the price of it it is you know it's um yeah yeah i would say it's it's really decent quality there you go it's an xl i'm sure it was an 18 i'm sure an xl's about an 18 in there oh and i've got my charity shop dress on you know what i bought from the charity shop i think this was only about two pound or something or two pound fifty was it wasn't very much um so yes overall impressions it's beautiful i really really like it it was 12 pound guys so not a bad price at all you know definitely comparable with um what you would pay in primark you know and and, and even Shein. so um 
yeah it's definitely worth £12 I would say but I will put in a try on clip here so you can see what it looks like on me and if you if you don't already know I know like most of you do who, who's um, like regulars on my channel but if you're new here you know I'm a UK size 18 to 20 and I am 5 foot 2 so you'll see what it looks like on my like size and frame you know in height oh my god I love this one I absolutely love it I, you know what I'm just going to show you it -da! <laughs> it's just total hippie vibes it's like total Austin Powers you know <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful now I love the, uh, I love hippie style I love boho and hippie and I love um you know about time I, I, I kind of was around in the 70s I remember a lot of the styles I remember um my mum had um she had remember them knee-high boots or were they, they, actually they weren't knee-high they were over the knee boots and they were white white like a uh, plasticky PVC kind of what were they how would you describe them like PVC leather they were and she had them the white off the knee. Yeah, I love them. Absolutely love them. I love trying them on. I was terrible. <laughs> I was terrible then. <laughs> it's my mother's fault. Anyway. So it's this like beautiful, beautiful I can only describe it as a hippie dress. <laughs> it's um got this gathered. Hang on, I'll come closer so you can see. This neck here. Now you can draw it out because it's on like this cord or you can you can make it like that so it's quite narrow or you can make it wider you know I'll show you but when I when I pour it on how like you know you can do it and you can you can do the same can you do the same with the back yes so you can do the same with the back like move it about a bit so you can you know have it like that if you don't if you want to wear a bra with it you know, and you can see your straps if you pull it out longer like that. You want to see your bra straps. Because sometimes when you wear it like that, you know, you can see your bra straps here. But as I say, if you do that, you won't be able to see them. It's got like this little keyhole detail here in the back. And it's got this tie, you know, here. So again, you can tie it tighter, you know, to achieve a different look. Um, it's got a lovely belt with it as well that you know cinches in round the waist and then it, it just drops down into this like ruffle here this bottom frill oh, it's beautiful honestly I love it what I will say about it is the fabric is very very thin but it's not see-through by any means you know keeping your modesty guys all the time I would never like sure you see through things like that unless it adds a slip underneath or something like that but yeah it's total you know you can't see through it at all it's a beautiful little summer dress honestly it's so easy to just throw it on um, and the pattern in it is just it's just stunning it really really is as I say it's so like hippie you know look at that it's dead groovy man <laughs> It's really groovy, isn't it? I love it. It it does it is quite short. Um it comes to you'll see when I try it on, but it comes to my knee. So you know, if you're taller than me, obviously it's gonna be a bit shorter, you know, but um it's stunning, it really is, and you know what's what's really really I think about it, the price. <laughs> it was only six pound guys. Now that is definitely worth six pounds. You know, you couldn't even buy the material to make it for that. You can't buy material these days, can you? I mean, I did used to make my own clothes, you know. Um, because when I was, like, young, I asked my mum for a sewing machine for my 13th birthday, it was. And then when I left school, I did go into the clothing trade. 
you know where I did train um dressmaking so um that was a long long time ago I have done it from time to time when I, my girls were little you know I made all of them like little frilly frocks I made um a christening gown and things uh for Emma which she is hoping to use for her baby you know if, uh, if she has a little girl she's hoping to use the christening gown and everything that I made um I'll show you that one dear but getting back to this dress guys I have gone off on a tangent sorry about that I picked it up in a size 22 and they did have an 18 there and I looked at it and I thought do you know what that's not an 18 I'm not going to get into that oh well I probably would have gotten into it but it would have been really tight and they didn't have a 20 so they had a 22 and to be fair this fits perfect so if you're an 18 try and get a 22 because it does fit I'll show you there you will see when I put it on guys what it's like and I, I will fit the try on clip in here guys so the last couple of items they're not from uh, Poundland but I just wanted to share them with you as you know um, and thank you so much for all your lovely lovely comments you know about Emma and our baby and me becoming a grandma and that um, I haven't answered all your comments but I, I am getting around to answering them so please bear with me um, do you know what it's just I, with having the COVID I've just totally slipped behind on everything you know like everything so I'm, I'm just still playing catch up anyway I'm going to show you these because I think they're so mega cute <laughs> <It's these. laughs> I was in Aldi getting the shopping and um I just couldn't resist them I just could not resist them and I thought if it's a girl or a boy these are going to just be fine you know for either sex so it's these like little garden tools, little watering can and oh my god a little rake and this little trowel and then these this bag here with these like little you know you write on what you've planted so we'll probably do some like peas you know because I did that with my son um, you know when he was little and we'll write peas on and like watch them grow like I left the beer like the baby <laughs> I'll be a baby when it's using this but you know when it gets to like a toddler um I'm just so excited man you've got no idea <laughs> you probably do have some idea if you were grandma um and I got a uh, this little book as well I'm just looking to see how much this was um I think that was 6.99 you know what this I thought that was the receipt but it doesn't look as if it is it is the receipt, <laughs> cranky. It's because I haven't got them glasses on. They're not even here either. Um, seven ninety nine, guys. So the the little garden set was seven ninety nine. But you know what? It's it looks like good quality because this is wooden and these are metal. It's not like plastic or anything. And this book, oh my god, I love this book. I used to love reading to my kids, you know. I used to buy them books all the time, like from work, you know, because like wherever I, like I've worked, there's always been um well not not every job, but quite a few of them. There would be like um people coming in, like a book, a book we used to call him the book man, and he would bring in like a selection of books, you know, and you would order them and then um he would like you'd fill in the, the order what you wanted of the books because he'd leave a few so you could have a look through and then you'd write down which ones you want and then he'd bring them like a couple of weeks later and you, you paid for them and I used to always get books for my kids and me as well because I, I like books but um my daughter now is a total bookworm <laughs> you know my eldest daughter and then um, she actually did a degree in um English literature and creative writing so um 
yeah she's very much into books and illustrations and things like that but getting back to this book because i love the illustrations and it's like this like little ladybird here so it's what's under the ladybird uh spotty back and wings you know and then on the next page it's like an interactive book you know so you know you lift the page up sunshine makes the flowers bloom bees hum busily as they gather yellow pollen and it like each you know oh man it's just so cute you know it's just yeah i can't wait to read this with the you know the little one look at that it's like a little frog hiding and that one oh my god it's so cute what's this under here i'm just like a big kid you know aren't i but it's all about like little um you know like um things in the garden you know insects and that so it'll teach you know the little one about like insects and things so this guys was um it was 3.99 so i really really like that book for 3.99 anyway i've gone off on a tangent we're a little pippin <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you might have to get used to this, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, we're all just so excited, you know. I try to contain myself about it because, you know, it's a long way off before little Pippin gets here, but I just can't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I love having you here. Um, I love all the support that you give me. You're also very, very kind, you know, and I really, really do appreciate it. Oh, yes, that's what I need to do. And um, there was one prize that hasn't been claimed. It was an eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to take you off to the computer and I'm going to draw that, like re draw a winner from the, you know, the, um, that video so um yeah i'll do that now right everyone i'm just gonna uh, draw a winner for that eyeshadow palette so good luck everyone and the winner is hazel shaw so hazel if you if you can um go in contact with me please with your address um i will leave my email linked in the description box below so if you can drop me a quick email you know and i can get that sent straight out of here and um, just thank you everybody for entering the um draw